What's up? It's that 94 here, and today we are taking a look at the Jaguar E Type, but this is the convertible ver version. So, this is the one you get from the Motor Pass. So, if you want the Motor Pass, it'll cost you 80k, you get 40k back, so it's kind of a okay deal. But obviously, some people don't think it's a good deal. But what we're going to get into today is customizing this beautiful vehicle here. So, if you wanted the normal one, this is the normal one, which I think you you can definitely you can buy this one without the motor pass, which is kind of a cool one as well. But this one, this one's just a, that little bit better. But you get what you pay for, really. But so what we're gonna do is slap on any parts right now. Don't matter what part, we'll just we'll just slap them on. Because if we wanna take if we wanna take them off, we can switch them to a new vehicle. We can do that. We just have to come back and have a look. I don't really want to put putting boost on it. Because we we'll just save them for other cars. So now let's get into customization. We'll see what the s starter colors are. Because you can have a few. That's a that's a nice goldy kind of color. It's not got gold, is it? It's like uh, kind of like a tan. Kind of like it. Might go with that. Because you got a few cool colors. Red will look nice. So you can have like that red. It's kind of like a faded red. So that one would be like you know pristine. But yeah. So let's. Let's go with this colour. I think it's cool. And has anyone done any live with? They should have done, because a lot of people have it. So you got a race sticker on you. I do kind of want this as a race car, so a race sticker would go well with it. Hmm. Let's have the race sticker. It's kind of cool. Visual parts then. So hoods, I kind of, kind of do want the lights because I didn't have them on the last one. But I want the them popping out as well. I wish you could have the vents and the lights, but you can't. You can only have a few of them. But like you could have that vent with the lights, but you can't have the thing at the back with the lights. But I do want that thing at the back. It's cool. This one's gonna be a little bit more rice too, so. If you don't like things a little bit roast, then it's gonna be tasteful. Cause I don't like this. I think this bumper, I think it's ridiculous. Like the arrow doesn't make sense because you don't get skirts. So I'm just gonna go with this little kit here. Remove some of that chrome, and for the side because I want that chrome removed. We're just gonna you know extend it because it's what you do in a race car. Rims. We're gonna go with some black steelies. I think that'll make more sense. Well, for wing mirrors, we'll have these, so it looks like chrome's removed, but you need them to look behind you. Because you can't just use the rear mirror, view mirror all the time. So we could either go for that or the de variant. So I'm going to go with the one with all the chrome gone. And roof. And go for some beautiful roofs. So you can do it here. You got you can put the roof on, which I do like. But you can add, add it where it goes, where you put a little vent on the top. You can put a wing on the back as well, but I don't, I don't like that wing. I mean, it's cool and it fits the race theme, but I'm not a fan. But I honestly, I do like that roof. What's the difference there? It just, I think it does. It you know, removes a lot of the chrome. So if you want it with the chrome, you can just have that. But if you don't want the chrome, add this little thing on the top. Very smart. So rear bumpers now. See, because I do want that little thing at the back, but I don't want it in silver. So, see, I don't like that one. That's a bit too sporty for me. But that one there. Should we put the light on? We'll leave the light off. I'll take the light off just for you know, more room. But I don't know. Because light on gives you the red lights, and I prefer the red lights. So I'm going to leave to put the light on. Interior. We could go red. How does that look though? Should we go red? You know, race red interior. Eh, seems good. We'll go with red. Yeah, that looks kinda cool. I mean, I might change it back at some point. But, for the purpose of this, I just wanted something that just a little bit stands out a little bit more. We could even go the full extent and stick on some white walls, you know, just because. Like that. Looks like a proper old retro race car. So 
gonna stick them on. Be nice you could have them in the white, in the the white ones, the white covers. That'd be cool, but I don't have any like them yet. So the wheel smoke, don't want none. This we can go with. I wish I had a white one, but I don't. And tint the windows maybe. Now let's leave the windows open, because. At some point we get a look at white like window, smoke, white smoke, that would be cool. But, for now, we don't have that. So, we're just going to get into the race now. The race is directly in front of us, just to make it easier and like easier on me for editing and things. You know, and it makes it smoother for you, because then there's no cuts. It's just sweet. So we get into the race, wait for it to load, and we're just doing big observatory. The Big Bend, Big Bend Observatory, either way it's called. We're just gonna do that and just, you know, test the car. If you if you don't like it with the roof off, if you want the roof off, yeah, you can obviously leave the roof off. And you can still have the thing on the back with the with the fuel on the back. Because really, you'd have the fuel tank based on the back if you're doing it into a race car. You got I mean, this from the get -go. I wanted the one as a race car, but not the other one. Because, but honestly, I have a decent roof style. When it comes to like being a race car, so yeah, to me, to me this is this is perfect. And whoever done this livery, brilliant job. I forgot to you know say who done it, but if you go back to the start, you'll see their name on the, on there, so you can have a look. And you could you know type it on YouTube, see if they've got a channel or something. But, you know, them the much. There's people. There's not. I don't think there's anyone that like shows you how to do cool liveries online. But I haven't really looked. That'd be kind of a cool channel to have a look for. Someone who does like live with, I think. But yeah. This car is obviously gonna handle it's like the other one. So I don't I can't feel that it never seems like any improvements with these, which is fair enough, because it should be just simply cosmetic. I mean, it's cool. I can't wait to unlock the new bike and the Bentley. The Bentley's gonna be a beautiful car to use. So yeah. If you stay tuned to my channel you'll see them. Because I'll post them when I get them. I finally had this car unlocked a couple of days, I think. I just come on the other day. I haven't done any of the other challenges, like the weekly ones. I just, I just enjoy, you know, chilling, getting it, getting my dailies done, and then just coming on again. That's what I enjoy doing. I don't, don't grinding aspect. I'll enjoy grinding for money. Well, I haven't done all the races yet, and I wanted to do videos on them, so that's the reason I haven't been, you know, bashing out the grinds. But yeah. For them. But still, we've got this car, which is very, very cool. D-Type Jaguar. I mean, I'd recommend getting the pack just for something like this, but you get the standard ones anyway, originally, which is basically similar. similar. I wouldn't say it's the same, because they're not the same ones convertible, one is it? But I mean, they look cool. Just one and we're gonna hit a rock, because it seems as what I do a lot when I play the hood. He's hitting the rings. Stage one of them. This is, seems like a pretty long race. I mean, you don't get paid a lot for it though. Which is kind of unfortunate. It's a decent sized race. It's a long race. It's going to take four minutes. But it's only going to take like... I might get there. We'll get there before three minutes either way. I mean, it handles well, to be honest. It's just that I'm not the best driver on the game, but... Well, I'm not the worst either. So it's one of them. I mean, it handles well, it looks nice. Overall, it's a 10 out of 10 car to me. But, you know. It's which one of them old car, so... We'll see. But, yeah. It's, it's very, a very nice feeling car. To be honest. Not much else to say. Got an old engine sound, noise, and we're just coming to the end. And we got it done in 3 minutes. I thought we were going to get it done in under 3 minutes. But, we did just under 3 minutes, so I won't lie. But yeah, hopefully guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. And hopefully, I'll see you in the next video. I'm out. Peace.